Okay. Oh, wait, were we supposed to? That's all right. Everyone knows the song. Six, seven, Sing along. Five, three, oh, nine, nine. There we go. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Don't call me. Colleen here from Fish Chick Finds. Uh, I am back with another haul video. Um, I want to thank um, everyone for coming back and um, those that are new just consider subscribing if you would that would be great. Uh, now that we got all that out of the way um, let me tell you I went to an estate sale and uh, this is haul number 50 and the first day th the estate sale was outrageously priced. Um, before I proceed, I have Mr. Fisher with me. Hello! Insert catchphrase here. <laughs> <laughs> what movie is that from? Uh, um, free Guy, wasn't it? Catchphrase. Free Guy. Free Guy. Catchphrase. Okay. And Mr. Bill. Hello. 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 Um, so I have the um, these two lovely gentlemen with me. I'm this more is... lovely than Tim. Okay. Okay. Just say. Okay. Self-proclaimed. <laughs> okay. Okay, self-described. <laughs> That's his regiment. Self-report. It must be his regiment. All right, so is that, is that a word, regiment? Yes. Is it a regiment? Both. A regiment is a division in the, in the army. Mm -hmm. oh. Regiment is your, uh, your work uh, okay. plan. All right, we're learning things every day. I just didn't think it was a word at all. So, I mean, I'm just asking because, I, you know, inquiring minds. Um, so anyway, this is Hall 50. Um, we went to an estate sale. It was in Oldsmar. No, it wasn't. It was in Odessa. Um, and let me tell you, Tim and I went the first day. We went um, on a Saturday. Overpriced. <laughs> Overpriced, to say the least. I was oh, like, yeah. are you kidding me? These are like eBay prices, people. Nice items. Yeah. Just, just well overpriced. Yeah, so, it? I mean, there wasn't great picking for resellers. I mean, if you were collecting stuff, it was great. So, um, so the first day, Tim and I went, and uh, I, you know, scoped out the whole place and was like, these are items I'm getting today. I might come back tomorrow. If I didn't, it was no big deal, right? So, um, without further ado, let's do. Um, first day. These are things I felt like I couldn't leave behind, okay? The um, first thing is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful hand-painted um, cup and saucer. I just absolutely love it. Okay, so I don't know if you can see the detail all that well. I will try to bring it up close. Yeah, there you go. It is just fabulous. Okay, and then there's the plate and uh, it is a uh, hand painted Nippon. I know where you want. Yeah, and it has that gold uh, metal yes. filigree on it. It's beautiful. Um, okay, the next one, for some reason, I really wanted this crystal empty um, perfume bottle um, with the stopper. Can't smell whatever was in there, but I thought it was really cool. Um, I don't, um, I don't recognize the name, uh, Crystallary. I'm not sure, but I wanted this bottle, and it wasn't crazily priced, so um, I picked that up. Okay, then I got these two um, Tanala bowls. Here's the first one. Um, this just has uh, your a typical Tanala design in there. I don't know if each pattern has like a different design name, pattern name, or what have you. Um, but there's that, and on the back. Um, is the CAT with Mexico and the number 364. And then this one, which I love because it's got a little birdie on it and a butterfly. Okay. And it's great colors. And this is the same. Um, CAT. This one actually says Tanal. The other one didn't, although it is. And this number is, I don't know, 304, 364, 36A, 308, 308, 8675, 309. Yeah, it might be Jenny's, who knows? <laughs> you know? 
Okay, no, no singing. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, were we supposed to? That's all right. Everyone knows Eight, the song. Six, Sing seven, along. Five, three, oh, nine. There we go. Okay, thanks. <laughs> go. Call me. I got um, it. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the next um, day, I decided to go back, and I was really bummed because it was uh, nine a.m. to noon. It was no. nine a.m. to noon, we and I do my eleven fifty-five. As I, mean. I know we no, we got there. <laughs> no, we had we, we got there at like ten after eleven. <laughs> um, but I do you know my my live chat. It's not like something that's pre-recorded on Sundays at nine thirty. So I was like, oh, well, you know, and I. Without really saying so, I told the guy, because we went there pretty late on Saturday, you know, I was like, you know, I have a live show. I can't even come back until later. He's like, oh, there'll still be stuff here. And I almost felt like going, well, yeah, there's going to be stuff still here because no one's buying it at these prices. I mean, if you want people to buy it, yeah, you know what? It's not my business. Really not my business. So it won't be his for very long. do what you like with it. Um, okay. So the next day I just picked up some, you know, whatever. I just, all right. Um, let's start. I don't know, with these tins right Oops, here. I'm sorry, I'm going to break something. Yes, that's, that's yes, my that's, job. that's it. That's what you do. Yes, so I picked this up, and I really like this, okay? Um, isn't that like a great little graphic that, on this tin? Uh, yeah. Well, let me tell you, I, have no, I had no idea what it was, and I thought it was, you know, a cookie tin. But this is the legend of the cookie. Could not find any information about it online. But let me read you what cookies are. The legend of the cookie. Um, throughout history, different methods were designed to enhance women's breasts. Really? The first commercial advertisement of breast pads known as falsies appeared in 19th century Paris. The falsie, or bust improver, <laughs> was made of wool pads which were inserted into uh, boned bodice. Later on in the 19th century, French women were introduced to rubber breast pads called Lemon boss, uh, lemon bosoms. Well, that makes much more sense. Yeah. I'll say blossoms. No. Buck her up. I, I say blossoms. <laughs> lemon bosoms. They were. Sh this is not for kids. I do check that box. Yes, so just to let you know. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, they were shaped and sized in the same form as lemons. Um, as the intrigue of enhancing women's breasts increased over the years, women began referring to the bra pads as cookies. <laughs> I did it all for the cookie. <laughs> <laughs> the various sizes, shapes, and terrible musical guy. now colors of cookies are one of fashion's most sought-after little secrets. Enjoy your new pair of cookies. <laughs> so that was a tin of breast pads. Yeah. Well, they're cookies. I mean, they're not in there. <laughs> No, where are no. they? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's look at an actual tin now, okay? Because, I mean, that was a tin, but it's definitely not where I was going when I picked it up. I was like, what? <laughs> All right, anyway, thanks for singing to us, Mr. Fisher. It's always a pleasure. Uh, so, I mean, I'm sure you all, all have seen these around. This is a pretty, um, pretty popular one. I've seen them out there. This is... Um, oh, by appointment, biscuit manufacturers to the late King George the Sixth, William Crawford and Sons Limited, Edinburgh, Liverpool, and London, made in Great Britain. So, just a little tin from England, where most of the good tins were made. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> yeah, cheers, cheers. Okay. Um, oh, and then we have this little thing, and um, this looks like something that you could buy different layers because it has this little lip here, and and. You know, like this one goes like this. Yeah, it's like, like stackable little chrome um, plated. Um, this was, I found this one in the in the bathroom. So this had to be some kind of like vanity caddy or what have you. It's got a little leaf on it, brass knob. Um, mm -hmm. And it is um, by Chase. Chase. A Chase, a stackable um, chrome what Brand have stuff. you? What have you? <laughs> okay, so we're, we're, we'll we'll stay in um, line with, you know, let's with with the lady things. Is there another one of these? Yes. Okay. So also in that first room and around that area um, were these um, Shalimar bottles. Now um, these design, this d particular design, like Shalimar has fabulous designs dating back, like you know. Um, forever ago. People collect them um, and it's a fabulous scent and you can still smell it. Mm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good still. 
Um, so this is a little one. This is the fan design. This is late 80s, early 90s. It has the, uh, it's the one ounce, um, which has the plastic top with the um, Guerlain um, G initial on the um, Mr. Nozzle. Um, Mr. Nozzle. Mr. Mr. Is Nozzle. Like Mr. Microphone? That's like Mr. Tim and Mr. Bill. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Nozzle. Oh, no. Hey, it's Mr. Nozzle. Hey, good luck. It will be back to pick you up later. <laughs> okay, and then Shalimar, another Shalimar by Gerlene. This is a um, a larger one. This one is um, two point five ounces, and it says, uh, "Yep." And this also has a little G on it, and. And you can also smell this one a little bit. But again, this is late 80s, early 90s design. Um, and this one has the, um, I see, I've seen a lot of them with the blue. This one has the, the clear little cap on it. So there's those two. She was a girly girl for short. There were so many scarves. <laughs> oh my God, and belts. Mm. And there were so, like, lingerie. Wow. Uh, and, like, there was a whole table full of, of nylons. Whoa. Like a whole table. I mean, it was just, it was endless. I was like, good Lord. I like, got to about half trying them on and just after yeah. that, it was like, yeah. So many yeah, well, she must have been smaller. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. You know, you got to work on that. It's, it's tough to, um, you know, it's tough to be a lady. Um, so this one right here well, hard. is a little, um, oh, that it's not coming to me. What is it? Uh, it's a tray. Thing? It's a tray. It, it fits. Um, the, 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 the um, material is not coming to me. Oh. Um, I know what it is, but so anyway, this says design imports made in Italy. This is out of Providence, and I like um, this is like a little vanity tray. This was in her bathroom. I absolutely, I, I really liked it because it had. Um, let me see if this can focus. Yeah, um, it's got like the little Art Deco designs up in the corner. It's got the swans. It's really cool looking. I like it. So I, Very nice. I, I like this one too. It's got a nice, it's a nice picture. Yeah, for sure. Um, okay. Do we have anything else that was? I don't think anything else was in that room. Um, so um, let's see. So in the kitchen, I found this item. Uh, this is a set, and I'm not sure of the maker. Maybe. No. Yeah. You there you go. Okay. Yeah, we got much more detail. You have. Uh, there we go. Okay, so there they are. Better skin. Tone. Okay, so um, yeah, there's those two: cream and sugar, mid-century, beautiful. Oh, I love that color. I love blue. There is a little chippy on it, just to let you know. But we're just showing you. I'll have to disclose that when you're buying it, right? All right, there you go. Okay, and off of the kitchen was the laundry room, which I don't know why I got these, but I just thought they were fun. They reminded me of um, Kat from Kathy's World. She does bingo on every Monday after Johnny. Johnny does bingo as well, but um, this, these are real bingo markers. Um, this is a, I don't know why his head is on backwards. So this is Beetle Bailey bingo marker, and I have two Betty Boops. <laughs> I got yeah, these. Chose characters that started with a B. So yeah, that, Beetle, Bailey, Betty, Boop, Bingo markers. That's right. Yep, there you go. One's got a purple, one's got a red cap. I just thought they were fun. I don't know what I'm going to do with them, but there they are. Okay. This item. I mean, I paid up for a lot of this stuff because even at half price, I was like, oh, my God, am I going to pay this much? Well, I did pay a lot for this. And I did not tell you how much I spent, so let me pull that up really quickly. Um, uno momento, por favor. And uh, I'll be cutting this, guys, so. All right, here we go. You were speaking Spanish just now, weren't you? Uh, let's Jeez, really. see. Okay, so all together, okay, so all together I spent $105. I spent 30 the first day, and I um, spent um, 75 the second day. So you much wiped out all your previous profits. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so. This right here, this is a little cloisonne teapot. Are we gonna have this issue again? There you go, very nice. Oh, there we go. So there's a cloisonne. Um, I must say it's cloisonne, it's not. It's just, it's, it's just enamel. Yeah, it is enamel. But it is absolutely gorgeous show that again um, it does have a little bit of enamel missing right here um, 
but so, so very pretty. Yeah. yeah, the blue inside is so pretty. It's like you know, no other blue that's on the outside, is it? Or uh, I mean, maybe I don't oh, know, but it's like like a robin's egg blue, maybe. Yeah. It's so it's so nice. Um, so anyway, I absolutely loved it. I did pay up a little bit for it, and I don't even care. Nobody cares. <laughs> um, this wasn't too um, this wasn't too expensive, even with the discount. So. Um, so this is just a little cranberry ruffled basket, applied handle. Um, he has the pontal mark right here. Um, yeah, you can see that. There you go. So I just picked it up because I was like, yeah. It was uh, too expensive. It wasn't expensive, but it was too expensive for the first day, so I picked it up the second day. It was still there? It was still there. That's Yay. The thing about prices. You get used to them after the first day. Yeah, it's just like. Go ahead and pay them on the second day. Well, I mean, if it's half price, sure. Oh, I get it. So then this one, I, the, I don't know, I just really liked this design. It was very cool. It's just this little, um, little uh, pottery vase. Okay, I, I'm not sure what type of design it, it looks like a Southwest type thing. I, I'm not sure. It seems European to me, like uh, maybe Portugal or something. Okay, it's yeah, I mean, hard. I don't know. Does it give you a hint down there? It says, handmade Ruth Berger 304. Well, no, she's not Portuguese. So, I mean, I don't know. Maybe she was Burgers. visiting abroad. I don't know. Then, um, let's see. And then I got this. Oh, I, I don't know the name of it. Oh, Ar Arthur Court Designs. And it is this egg. Ooh, with a little bunny on it. And this is, now this is only from 2001. So, yes, it is vintage technically. But, um, you know... They sell okay online, so I was like, oh, what the heck? It's really not my speed, but um, I just thought it was pretty cool, and uh, I'm sure someone collects these things because um, these are the type of things people collect. So um, That base is surprisingly heavy. The whole thing is really heavy. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's, it's very Lottery. heavy. It's but not, um, I just thought, it, I mean, I thought it was kind of cool, uh, appealing um, to the eye for some, you know, um, it does definitely look to me like something someone would collect. Um, so, and it's signed on. It's signed. Yeah, it's signed. It's had the, it's that etched frosted glass. On yeah, it. exactly. It's beautiful. Yep, it is. Well, I think we just like it very much. Okay, the next thing I picked up, and this was rather inexpensive. I mean, as expen inexpensive as this place could get, I guess. Um, this is just um, this is just a dish that someone hand painted. Um, it says pintado e mayo. Do we know what that means? Do uh -oh, we know what that means? Something in May. Oh, I don't yeah. know, but it's by Nelly, um, not the rapper, I'm sure. <laughs> Might be getting hot in here, but probably just from firing this up afterwards. Yep. Um, so this right here, it's hand painted, and I just really like the colors. Like these are my kind of colors. I just, it was really, really pretty. So I decided, what the hey, let's pick it up, and it's got a hanger on the back. So it's got a rusty wire. In it. It's, it's it's still a hanger. It is a hanger. It is a hanger. <laughs> You're right about that. Yep. But it is a rusty wire also. It sure is. Um, and then this one right here, do I just have, oh, I got the eggs too. Oh, and the, oh, those three things over there. Oh, mm -hmm. good lord, I thought I was almost done. There's more. But wait. Okay. So this was, this was there on the first day, and um, there was something about it that I really liked. And so if anybody knows anything about it, because I, um, you know, Google lensed it and um, I did some research on it with keywords and I wasn't able to find anything. I don't know if it's um, vintage. Maybe it's new. I don't, I don't know. I don't think so, but I could be wrong, you know. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, well, it photographs beautifully. It just jumps into the lens. So I picked it up. It, okay, yeah, it's Bill's, Bill's doing my uh, my photos now. So, um, so Okay, that looks like a chip there. Uh oh. Does that look like a chip? Uh oh. But okay, so here's the thing. Slight, I, I don't know what's going on with this thing. This is tin, uh, um, metal. Okay. Okay. Right? And this is like enamel, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure too. So I'm pretty sure it's enamel. Like and maybe that's what the chip is, but it's. Yeah. And this is black on the back. So I, I don't know why I was intrigued by this thing. It just captured me. Well, you wanted it on the first day. I did. And I was like... And it was only $5, but 
Tim's like, you're not paying $5 for that thing. I said, all right, deal. It'll I, I will, I will put it back. I'll, I, I, if it's here tomorrow, I'll get it. He's like, it'll be here. It was there. <laughs> I saved you two fifty. Saved me two dollars and fifty cents. I was so proud. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I was right. <laughs> For what? You're like, it, it was, was there. A, it was. Hey, there was this time I was right. <laughs> <laughs> he wrote it in his in his journal. Yeah. Oh, marked it. It was like. Oh gosh. Okay. Anyway, and then I picked up these eggs. And then you dropped them. It was eggs galore. There are there are all these. I don't know. There are all these eggs. And I just thought they were so cool looking. And I have these really cool brass stands that I'm going to probably put them on and I don't know. Use them in display or something. I, I, don't, I, just, I just liked them. I thought they were cool. I just, the designs were very cool. Very rich. I liked them. Okay. All right. Next item. Oh, I'll do that last. I love this thing. Okay. So this is... A um, linen, it's new old stock. However, I can't really sell it that way because it does have a stain on it. So, um, yeah. So this is a um, tea cloth. It is 36 inches by 36 inches. We didn't take this off before we photographed it, but that's okay. Um, so it's a tea cloth. It is um, Irish linen. I didn't know that there was a special linen, but it's Irish linen. It's got the scalloped edges. And what is this um, design? It's something to do with Ireland. It's not work. Uh, Celtic? Yeah, Celtic. Yeah. Celtic. Yeah. Okay. So that's what it is. Um, and it is embroidered. It's got the scalp edges, like I said. But this is the little part right here where it looks like some tape got on it or there's some tape behind it or something. And I believe it is stained. Yeah, it looks stained. I don't know if someone could get that out. So I did um, at, not advertise it as new in box. I just advertised it. Um, I, I listed it today on eBay, and I just have that it was, um, I just closed this right here. But, um, yeah, so I like it. It's a tea cloth. An Irish tea cloth in a box. There you go. I take that mirror. Okay, so this is going to be hard to show. All these mirror things are really hard to show because why? You'll be looking at a camera. Uh, okay, a so I'm going to put it this way so you can see that. There you go. Like that, right? You see yeah, my forehead yeah. double, right? Um, and then it's got on the edge, it's got these little, there we go. It's got all these um, etched flowers in it. Yeah, so that's really cool. Let's see how old it is. Ooh. Um, but it is very, very, very cool. God, yes, it is. can hear Eli up there cleaning. <laughs> it's got company coming over, so he's trying to clean. Now, the last thing I picked up, I just, I, I I, they only charged me $8 for this, right? I, don't I, I think it was 8 or 7 I remember them saying, oh, it's half price, so it was would have been 16 it's 8 or I, he said that, or 14 and 7 But I had to get it. I don't know if it works, and I don't care. Look at well, this. Oh, my God, I just love this Hollywood Regency style. And uh, this is now a couple weeks ago. Yeah. We didn't see this when we were there the first day. We no, saw, we saw that either. big one yeah. with the crystals hanging from it. It was huge. Yeah, it was, it was nice. gorgeous. I missed a couple crystals. But. Yeah, it was gorgeous. But then I saw this, and I went, oh. And it's oh. got the glass inserts. Okay, too. so yeah, the glass insert. If you could just take one out. I will try to take one out. Yep. And the glass inserts, they're not broken. <laughs> <coughs> so that's great. But yeah. <laughs> but this is the, um, oh, be very careful. Oh, yeah, we're trying um, to. So this uh, is the... Um, this is the style of the lamp that we saw a couple of weeks ago when we went to that that sale when all of the glass pieces were in there except for one was broken but they were they were colored these oh got to be very careful okay there so woo oh <laughs> okay so there what the panel looks like Oh, tell me that is not fabulous. Oh, I love it. Oh, my God. So that is the last thing. Here you go. Oh, so very careful. Beautiful. Okay, so, oh, my God, I just love it. I'm not going to be putting it in my house because I have this small, oh, does it say something in there? Oh, it certainly does, people. Patent pending. That says patent pending. They all say, oh, they're all patent pending. 
Okay. Well, I hope they got their patent. <laughs> uh, <laughs> still pending. It's still <laughs> pending. Okay, let's see. This, this does say right here, it says, um, I think it's really funny when people advertise their um, old vintage antique um, light fixtures and lamps and such as Underwriters Laboratory because that's <laughs> not a brand. <laughs> It's not a brand. Uh, yeah. And it may not be that uh, antique if it says on the right button. Mm. All right. But when was that invented? I don't know, but that, that, that is just, all right, so what is the Underwriter Laboratory? They're, they're just the people that, that so it's they, like. They make sure that the, it's right. not explode when you hook it up. Right, exactly. That's exactly what they do. So they're somewhat of a, like, a, what is it called? Clearing house for electrics. Sure. I can't think of the word I was going to use, but yes, they need to be approved, like their, their, their stamp of approval. Yeah. Okay. So anyway, um, this does say Geringer, beautiful lighting Geringer. So I will look that up. Um, and I love how they used to stamp it union labor. Thank you. Yeah. Um, that's funny. That's why it costs them. All right. So anyway, um, that, that, is, uh, that is all for my haul. So yeah, yeah. so um, what um, what did you like? I think the lamp. Mm. The it's just beautiful. Those it is beautiful. inserts the glass inserts. Mm -hmm. It's it's yeah. yeah it's it, a, <coughs> and for the price you got of that, I too, know. It's yeah, I know. That's a right. Good, that's a, that'll be a nice flip. Yeah, oh. for sure. Oh. And, and yours, Bill? Yeah, I just. Uh, the, the Shalimar, but the Shalimar. No one knows how <laughs> wonderful this smells. He's putting it on his neck right now. <laughs> I am. There's none I'm in it, so he's I don't like, know what he's doing with he's it. Like. <laughs> so that was haul fifty. Um, thank you so much for joining me. Um, put in the comments what you liked the most. Um, it's so great to have you um, stay with me um, through the entire video, um, if you're still here, so I appreciate it. And uh, I hope everyone's having a great day. Thanks again for joining me. Don't forget to um, um, like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.